All right, um, I had a bunch of Zener diodes to test because I have a big pile of them now. And so I wanted to make a little test fixture um, to help me out so I wouldn't have to connect clip leads all the time. And so I came up with this thing. Um, I'll show you the schematic for it, but basically there's two um, gold pins here. They're left over from some connector that I no longer need. So these two gold pins here, and I can take a diode and I can just lay it right there across the two. And I put a cutout here in the PC board so I don't have to take my, my fingers off of it. I can just, I, oops, my, no, my fingers are in front of the camera. I can just stick it in here and have my finger, I can have my finger underneath as well, right? And uh, it just helps me hold it on there. And it's gold so I don't have to make really good contact to it. Um, it's going to be it's going to be good from the get-go. So I have input here. I have 15 volts coming in and I'm using a current regulator. I showed these before. This is an LM334. Since I had some, I figured I'll go ahead and use it. And I just threw in a 10 ohm resistor. It ends up being about 7 milliamps of, of current here, which I thought would be a, a reasonable number. Um, and so, yeah, so 15 volts coming in and then we'll measure the voltage across the uh, across the diode. So uh, this is one connection and then the ground connection over here. And then we should be able to lay the, uh, the diode there and measure them. So let's get the, uh, uh, measurement device in the screen here. There we go. Let's put it on uh, DC volts. So we'll grab a, uh, grab a diode and it's, uh, compliance is 14 volts. 14.6 volts is all it can soar. So we'll put this in. And it says uh, we have 0.69 volts. So it's in the forward direction. If we turn it in the negative direction, uh, nothing happens. So this is a regular diode. This is a 1N 4148. Okay. And so I just have a big pile here. So, so okay, well, what's what's this one? Oh, wait a minute. This one's 6.8 volts. Okay, there's a Zener. 6.8 volts. Let's see. How about, uh, how about this one? Uh, that one's 2.8. How about this one? That one's 2.8. And how about this one? 2.95. Okay. And how about this one? 0.5. And in the opposite direction, nothing. So this is a, I think a germanium diode or maybe a, maybe a shotgun diode, but anyway, it's only 0.5 in the uh, forward direction. So you can see it's very, very fast, right? Super, super fast. Um, 2.9 in that direction. And then in the forward direction, it is 0.79. So yeah, should be a welcome help for all of the uh, Zener diodes I've got. Um, 6.8 seems to be a pretty popular number. Anyway, if there's no pressure on it, it doesn't quite work. You have to you have to push down on it just a little bit just to make a good contact. And that's probably because of the uh, uh, the crusty leads on the diode, not the nice gold ones, of course. But it doesn't take hardly any pressure at all. It's a little bit gets to the 6.8. Anyway, I thought maybe you want to build something like this. Um, I think the nice thing about it is these two gold posts laying down, um, and. Uh, you don't really need a constant current source. It's kind of nice. You could just put a resistor in there, um, but the, resi the the current will change depending on the the Zener diode voltage. So it, you know, properly, it, you should have a uh, you should have a constant current source. So I got them. So why not? And here's the schematic for those who can't imagine it. <laughs> it's just a 334, uh, 10 uh, 10 ohms going around it, and here's the device under test. And there's ground. So yeah, that's all there is to it.